The American message of deterrence is getting louder. More U.S. warships are headed to the eastern Mediterranean as a warning to Israel's enemies to stay out of this fight. We don't want to see any actor, be it a state actor like Iran or another terrorist group like Hezbollah, widening this conflict, opening up additional fronts uh, that will distract the Israeli Defense Forces from their primary fight against Hamas. The fear is Iran could directly enter the conflict. The foreign minister met and congratulated Hamas leaders this weekend before making threats against Israel, telling Al Jazeera if they do not cease their atrocities in Gaza, Iran cannot simply remain an observer. And if the war expands, significant damages will also be inflicted upon America. We have to do everything possible to make sure this doesn't spread to other places. French President Emmanuel Macron joined diplomatic efforts to ease tensions. On the phone, urging Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi to use relationships with Hezbollah and Hamas to prevent a regional flare-up. The U.S. Secretary of State traveled to seven different Middle Eastern countries, delivering a message of containment, but also stressed American support for Israel's right to defend itself. Inhumane. In a meeting with Egypt's president, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi criticized Israel's response. <laughs> I believe the ongoing retaliation goes beyond the right to self-defense for Israel, he said, and amounts to the collective punishment of the Gaza Strip. The U.S. has not publicly called on Israel to show restraint, saying it expects the rule of law to be followed. Taking every possible precaution to avoid harming civilians. President Joe Biden said in an interview airing late Sunday he thinks it would be a big mistake if Israel occupied Gaza, but repeated his support for Israel's targeting of Hamas, saying it's necessary. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Washington.